This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Good morning, hopefully you're well. We are in Thamesmead right now. Just getting tipped on the side of the road. And uh, we had to stay overnight. Ooh. We had to stay here overnight because um, we got here at like three o'clock. They wouldn't tip us. So we had to wait until this morning, 6 a.m. Uh, get let in and then they can tip us then. So that's what we are doing now. Let me quickly show you the load. So we're fully loaded with roofing tiles. And we're currently getting tipped from the other side of the road. When we're done, we'll move on over. There you see the car there. So yeah, they're taking three more off this side. Then we'll move over to this side and they'll do that side. So that's the plan. Right, that's the last one coming off on this side. I'll move over, mate. Better put the hazards on just to show that I'm doing a manoeuvre. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you would never get down here and spun round unless that van went part there, even though it'd be pretty tight. So we've got to reverse into their gates. Not too hard, but you've got to get it right. Reverse on back down here. And then we just go forward to straighten up. Lovely jubbly. Right, now they can do the other side. That was my alarm just going off. <laughs> just say wake up. <laughs> I um, uh, was supposed to call them at six o'clock this morning. I did phone them at six o'clock this morning, uh, but I did set an alarm for, for half past six in case I decided I wanted to get an extra, an extra bit of sleep. <laughs> but um, no, we are in and we are first one to be offloaded. There is a lorry coming down. Uh, right, so we want to go to, where we do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? H&H &H Seven Oaks, that's where we want to go from here. So from here, uh, once this is offloaded, we are going to go to H&H, &H, which reminds me, I need to find some glasses, because they won't load you unless you're wearing glasses. There we go. Although you can wear sunglasses, I found out. They'll let you wear sunglasses. But just in case, I got these. Um, and that's going to Siren Sester. I can only assume it's going to like a Travis Perkins or Bill Base in Siren. I'm hoping it's Travis Perkins, because Bill Base is pretty tight. Uh, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And then from Siren, uh, it, could be, it could be straight down to Swindon and get it loaded and go to London, potentially. Uh, I don't actually know. I thought we'd be doing more, more runs, but uh, I've only done two. Um, so, uh, yeah, maybe we're not doing loads. I don't know. No idea. <laughs> but we'll see. All I know is that it is 6.30 in the morning and I could do with waking up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Right, we are tipped and uh, I've just been told to go. But I can't go because I've got no paperwork yet. <laughs> so I'm waiting for that. <coughs> The forklift on, on the left just said, driver, wait, off you go. So I can't make wait for paperwork. Have you given it to someone? Yeah. Yes, I have. So please can I have my paperwork? That sun has really come out now as well. It's really bright. Yeah, mate. Sorry about that. That's all right, mate. No worries. Thank you very much. Cheers. Right. Right, now the paperwork is in my procession we can uh, attempt to turn around. So the sun is very bright. Very bright. It's right on my eyesight.
Ooh, can I catch this? Yeah, it should be able to. I need to clean that mirror on the left side. I thought it was clean, but now the sun's on it, it's not. to get over to the right a bit more. Basically, right behind me is a forklift, which doesn't appear to be moving. And I need to be on the right-hand side so I can make the left turn, so I don't take out the fence post, which is on the left of me now. Now I can get over to the right, and I can make the left turn. No problem at That sun is really bright. Uh, it's quite funny. This lorry driver here on the right, he um, he turned up after me, but he actually drove straight down. You're supposed to phone. Um, and get permission to come down and I was parked up I had phoned for permission and they said yeah wait there drive uh, you can come on down at, I think he said like half seven quarter to eight uh, by the way my seatbelt's not on because I'm waiting to pull over I'm just trying to wait for someone safe I was, I was like alright mate no worries half seven quarter to eight I'll, uh, I'll come on down anyway that lorry then comes straight past me and went straight on down uh, I just so happened to get a phone call I wouldn't come down mate I've got nowhere to go Uh, I just happened to get a phone call just as the H plus H driver passed me uh, and they said, come on down, drive. I was like, will do. I said, just to let you know, though, the one that's coming down now, green one, H and H, whatever it is, it's not me. <laughs> they said, he's just driven straight past. And they said, yeah, all right, drive. Um, don't worry, we'll uh, tip you first. So that was nice of them. <coughs> right. The window, the mirror is fine. I can see out the mirror perfectly fine now. It was only when the sun was on it, direct sunlight, that um, it wasn't quite as clear as it should be. So it's only only now that I realise after sun has been on it. So we gotta give it a quick clean. Okay, and that's a bit better. Put my shoes back on. Lovely jubbly. Give this a quick wipe while I'm here. Spot on. Fang tidy. Right, seatbelt on. Drive. Hazards off. Indicator off. Let's go. So yeah, uh, that's the first delivery made this morning. Like I said, we come down yesterday. We got here for like three o'clock. Uh, half three, so that. I think it was half past three just after um, and they don't take deliveries after well they said it says on the paper that they don't take deliveries after two o'clock I phoned them up and I said I'm gonna be there about quarter past three and I said no the latest would be quarter to three so I was, I was straight away I was already half an hour behind schedule then I got caught in traffic as well on the M25 coming down here um, so by the time I got here uh, yeah I was just I, it was just too late there was no chance I was gonna get tipped so I parked up overnight uh, and they said just give them a quarter six o'clock in the morning, so that's what I did, and then um, that's when the other lorry overtook. <laughs> uh, the time now is ten to seven, so we haven't done too bad to get in and out before seven o'clock. Pretty tidy. I don't know why my sat now saying there's no route possible. Of course, there's a route possible. There's always a route possible. Well, it's all clear now. Um, so yeah, now we can crack on with the day. So, like I said, we've got to go to H plus H and I think Celeron, it's near Seven Oaks. So near the M25, but if you think of the M25 motorway, sort of like six o'clock, as if it's a clock, do you know what I mean? Man, this is gonna be hard to get out on this roundabout. 
and then that's going to Sirencester. Now, if I had to guess where in Sirencester it was going, I would say like Bill Bates or Travis Perkins, um, both of which I know where they are. Come on, Van, go left. I'm struggling to get out of this roundabout, yeah? Might be able to go up. Okay, I can go now after this van. Yeah, so I know where the Travis Perkins is. I know where the build base is. They're both on Love Lane and Sirencester. Uh, sometimes you get um, collections that say something like Sirencester or whatever. And then actually it could be like 10 miles outside of the, uh, the centre of that place. Like not even really in Sirencester, do you know what I mean? So it could be somewhere local around Sirencester for all we know. We, we won't know until we actually get there and get our paperwork and such. And then... Um, then we'll find out exactly where we're going. But for now, for now, we just gotta crack on and uh, go get loaded. Now, before I forget, I do actually need to give a shout out. I don't normally do shout outs, to be honest with you. Um, you tend to do one shout out and then you get asked for a thousand more. <laughs> um, but I will give a shout out to this bloke um, because yesterday I delivered to a builder's merchant in Kidderminster. It's called uh, TG Hardwick. Um, and uh, I turned up, is that an airplane? I turned up, um, got it, got in, reversed in, so I was facing the right way to get back out again, give the paperwork to the forklift driver, and uh, basically off he, off he did his work. I very quickly realized that the forklift driver in question uh, was new. He was obviously being trained, because there was someone beside him telling him, right, straighten forks, that's it, up a bit, left a bit, you know, stuff like that. And uh, it took a good, 15 minutes to do why is it so quiet we're in london at seven o'clock and it's so quiet it took a good 15 minutes to do like five pallets and um well i had nearly 30 pallets <laughs> so it was going to take a while longer like a good hour and a half at least to do the rest um so but i didn't think of anything of it you know everyone starts somewhere uh he could he could end up being the best walk lifter in where I was in Kidderminster, I mean in the future. Honestly, so eerily quiet. Why is it so quiet? I haven't come down like a wrong road or something, have I? Anyway, so I sat in my truck, just relaxing, watching um, YouTube and TikTok and stuff like that. In comes this, uh, their own, one of their own lorries at TG Hardwick. Uh, lorry driver steps out, he goes, all right, Luke. My, I think he said his son watches me. So, um, I was like, yeah, not bad, mate, not bad. Um, and he's very young. Before he goes, do you know what? I'll jump on a forklift and I'll help you out. So, um, Owen, it was his name. Owen jumped on a forklift and he helped me out. Uh, TG Hardwick in Kidderminster. Got me offloaded a little bit quicker. And uh, I had a little, uh, little conversation with him. And I'm sure he said it was his son that watches me. So, hello to Owen's son. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching me. I do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, shout out to Owen and his and his boy. Uh, very helpful that he uh, come. He didn't have to unload me. You know what I mean? He could have just loaded himself. He's got to go back out for the day, so he could have just loaded himself. But no, he unloaded me first. So, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, uh, unfortunately, it didn't really make any uh, difference on my day. If I if I got <laughs> If I got tipped like 45 minutes earlier, I might have got this delivery off yesterday. Then I would have been ahead for, for today. I mean, I would have been loaded and probably heading back to Cyrus, to be honest. In fact, I might have even been home last night, potentially. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. That is the industry. That is the transport industry for you. So, years. It is what it is. Anyway, so, yeah, thank you, Owen, at TG Hardwick. And thank you to his son for watching me, uh, watching my videos. Really do appreciate it. I'm going to crack on now um, to H&H, &H, and I will see you there. See you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, we are in, I think it's, is it Incan? Incan? What's on that? It's near Seven Oaks. 
Uh, we're just around the corner, really, from uh, where we need to be. Speed camera up ahead. Thank you, Tom Tom. Um, yeah, normally this place is pretty decent. I can't remember if I've got to wear trousers or not. I'm in shorts. <laughs> so I'll probably just get out and uh, push my luck, see what they say. I've got high vis. Oh, I need hard hat as well. Definitely need hard hat and high vis. Where's my high vis? Oh, there it is. Um, I just can't remember if I've got to wear trousers or not. Might have to. The more I think about it, the more I think I have to. But I'll, uh, I'll get out without wearing trousers first. <laughs> and then if anyone says anything, I'll put them on. That's what I would do. Gets a bit snug round here. All clear. A lot of parked cars on the left. If anything comes up, then there's not a lot of room to pull over. We've got a little bit of room here. Not an awful lot, he's flashing me. Like I said, there's not an awful lot of room because of all the cars parked. But luckily he just flashed me out. That was nice of him. Go, go, go. Lovely. Your bag is protruding into the road a little bit. Let's go around you. Make sure you're okay. So yeah, this place, um, a forklift driver puts the pallets on your trailer. Then you've got to get out and uh, sort of handball the pallets into position, ready for the blocks to go on. Uh, and then you strap up and way off and out you go. Not too bad of a place. Uh, it can get busy. I'm hoping, uh, 7.30, well, 7.40 nearly. I'm hoping that the morning rush has been and gone. And uh, hopefully we can get straight in. We'll uh, hope for the best. Hope for the best. Lovely jubbly. There we go. Something like that is what we're going to be carrying. H plus H. Right, I'm going to turn off the dash cam. So it's just me. Uh, purely because no one has said I can't film in here. But it does uh, give me the impression that they probably won't want to film in. And I don't want to upset anyone. So uh, we'll just stay on me for now. Dash cam wise. Uh, GoPro wise. I film the trailer and stuff with what's on the trailer whilst inside, but I don't really want to film uh, the place itself. Do you know what I mean, like where I'm going, where I'm parking, stuff like that, just in case. But I can tell you, there's no one in here. It's just me. Well, just me waiting to be uh, to be serviced anyway. There's uh, there's one someone over there being loaded. There's no one in the holding area, so that's good. Just empty trailers. Lovely. Handbrake on. Let's put a high vis on. Lovely, high vis on. Right, let's go and get looked at. See you in a bit. Right, we're in, and yeah, they are quite strict. Hard hat and orange trousers, almost straight away. So I got out of cab. <laughs> anyway, we, we eventually got our paperwork. We were given the incorrect reference number to begin with, um, so it wasn't taking us to Sirencester. It was taking us somewhere else. We're now in. We're just waiting for the pallets to be put on the trailer so we can sort it out. We need to get a move on. We are pushed for time. Purely because of this, deliveries are only accepted between 9 a.m. and 12 noon and 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. So I've got to be there by 12 o'clock. I mean, if we left now, we wouldn't get there until like 20 to 11. We're probably going to be here for an hour. So that's 20 to 12. Uh, yeah, we could be pushing it. And if we don't make that for 12 o'clock, then there's a two hour wait. <laughs> that's not good. So we've got to try and get there as soon as we can. It's just annoying when places are like this because it just puts unnecessary stress. Uh, obviously, we can't break speed limits, you know. It's, it might encourage bad driving for some drivers, do you know what I mean? To try and get there, rush, rush. You can't, you can't be rushing. Um, 
you know, you make cause accidents, make mistakes. Like, but at the same time, you then you feel pressure to do it. So I don't know. We'll see. We can just do what we can do. Um, I was going to have a break on the way up, but there's no way we can do that now. We've got we've just got to crack on and get up there. So, oh, I think pallets are coming. No, not yet. Not yet. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Right, we're loaded. We've got our paperwork. We're just heading back to the truck. We've got to take these silly orange trousers off. <laughs> and then we crack on to Siren Sester. We should be there by 12, fingers crossed. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Woo! Don't get excited. But I'm taking my trousers off. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's put these back up here. Hard that off. Close that up. Lovely. Ugh. We are done. Well, done with the orange PPE. There's <laughs> uh, a lot of PPE to put on. Glasses, hard hat, high vis top, trousers. Obviously, steel toe caps as well. You need to look a little bit like a lollipop man or lady <laughs> covered in head to head toe with high vis and PPE. But hey ho, that is health and safety for you, isn't it? Isn't it? Anyway, so yeah, you're welcome, mate. We are heading to Sirencester now. Gonna be there in about three hours. Um, we've only done 50 minutes of driving, give or take what we've done. Uh, 54 minutes. It was 50, but done a little bit of driving around in here. Ugh. So, um, we can do three and a half, just well, over three and a half hours driving. We're less than three hours away, so we can get to um, Siren Sester without needing the brake. I don't know if I said, we're going to Travis Perkins. Yeah, I'm sure I did. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Travis Perkins, which is, uh, it's the better one of the two. Like I said, there's a uh, build base there as well. It's a little bit, little bit tight in build base. Whereas Travis Perkins is perfectly fine. Um, it's just the uh, the whole deliveries by 12 p.m. noon and then a two hour break. Like, what? Why? Why two hours? I, I, the only thing I can imagine is that they're going to be loading their vehicles around that time. Like, it can't be for breaks because that's just silly. There's no way it, you need one forklift to stay on, surely, but. I reckon that's just so they got two hours to load their own vehicle so that they can go back out again, is what I think. Uh, I will ask. I'm going to ask them. Uh, talking of asking them, I asked them how busy it had been today, where it just got loaded. And, uh, yeah, as I said, hopefully we've missed the rush. We did. Uh, apparently, ten lorries turned up at six o'clock this morning. <laughs> um, by the time I got there at half past seven, they had, uh, they were doing the last one of the ten, do you know what I mean? So... Yeah, had I have turned up any earlier, then we would have been waiting anyway, so... But as it, as it goes, we were in, and we were out. In and out. What time was it? It's 20 to 9 now. Got no idea what time we got there. Can't remember. This happens sometimes, I forget. I forget the timings. Uh, we were tipped by 7 o'clock, weren't we? At earlier and then it was a good 45 minute drive here so we must have turned up about quarter to eight ish maybe even eight o'clock um and it's not even nine o'clock so yeah I, we've definitely been here less than an hour so that's actually really good really good happy with that should be in siren Sester for 20 past 11 maybe quarter past 11 if we make up some time on the roads sat nav thinks i do 53 miles an hour whereas i do 56 sometimes 57 um so we do make up a couple of minutes here and there. So it could be about quarter past 11 by the time we get to Siren Sister. Get that tipped off, hopefully by 12. Um, and then I don't, I've got no idea what we're doing from there. It's a bit of an awkward time really, 12 o'clock. Uh, it's definitely time to go get loaded somewhere and probably time to go and deliver somewhere as well, which means it's probably gonna be a late one today. Uh, but I don't know, I've just got a feeling it's gonna be a London run. So 
over to Dorkin and get some toilets, do a delivery into Buckingham Palace. And if we're done by 12 in Sirencester, then we could be in Buckingham Palace for about between like three and four o'clock this afternoon. Um, which means we, if we are going back. If you flushed me earlier, I wouldn't have stopped. Thank you though. Um, yeah, if we are, if we do go to Buckingham Palace at three o'clock, then uh, depending on what's next, but if we go back to the yard from there, then they'll be gone six before we're back, so. Um, yeah, we started at six this morning as well, so. We're, it is looking like a 12 hour shift minimum, I would say, but it is what it is. We take the rough with the smooth, as we say. Yesterday, for example, I didn't start until seven and I finished at four. So, very short day yesterday. So, absolutely no problem with doing a 15 hour shift if needed today to make up for it. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what the flow is, what the crack is, and we'll get on with it. <laughs> right, I'll see you when we get to Sirencester. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome. You join me. We are pretty much in Sirencester now. This is the road that goes into Sirencester. Guess what it's called? That's right, Sirencester Road. <laughs> um, it's sort of part of the 419, goes straight through. Uh, yeah, this is Sirencester. We've got Dobby Garden Centre just on the left. Now, I don't know if I have mentioned, uh, me and my wife, we have put an offer down for a house. Um, it's been accepted, so we're just waiting for the solicitors to do their solicitating, but Sirencester will be our, will be our new home. That is where I'm going to live in the future. This place, Sirencester. It's the capital of the Cotswolds. Lovely place. Um, at the moment, we live just we live in between Sirencester and Swindon, technically, but we do have a Swindon postcode, so we are essentially Swindon. But uh, Sirencester is part of Gloucestershire, uh, so it will be a different postcode, different phone number, the lot. We're uh, moving to a different county, technically. Because uh, we do live in Wiltshire, but this would be Gloucester, Gloucestershire. But yeah, welcome to Simon Sister. If you didn't know, uh, if you didn't know, capital of the Cotswolds. That is where I am going to be moving to. Don't know when yet. Hopefully, well, it's going to be like no earlier than July anyway. That's for sure. So, but hopefully, sort of July, August time, September maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Don't want to get too later than September because it starts getting cold. <laughs> I'd like to move in the summer. That would be ideal. But yes. Looks like they've got some roadworks here. But yeah, me, uh, the wife, she knows plenty of people in Sirencester. She's a childminder. So um, she's got a lot of childminding friends in Sirencester. The kids have got a lot of friends that live in Sirencester. Um, a lot of the parents for the children that my wife looks after are actually from Sirencester as well or willing to travel to Sirencester. So it's just a bonus, all, all around win-win-win really. Uh, the kids do out of school activities at Sirencester like um, cheerleading and stuff like that. So yeah, we do shopping in Sirencester. We, there's an Aldi or Lidl, one of them, I'm getting confused. I think it's Aldi, just on the left-hand side. Um, next to a Tesco. In fact, actually, <laughs> I'm surprised this sign is still like this. So this sign has been like this for years, but you'll see on this green sign here coming up after the two symbol, it says Superstore Lorry Park. That would indicate that that's somewhere for a lorry to park, would it not? Uh, let me tell you now, if you go left down there in a lorry, you're getting stuck, unless you turn around in the Tesco delivery area, because that is, there's no room for lorries. <laughs> let me tell you that for nothing. <laughs> there is no lorry park down there. I, I guess, it's before my time, but I guess either Tesco or Audi um, was built on it. Um, but for years, there's been no lorry park down there. I don't know why they've still, uh, why they've still got it. Now, I've heard that they're putting traffic lights on this roundabout, because this roundabout is terrible. It's so hard to get out of, sometimes in a car, let alone a lorry, especially from the right-hand side where my best mates live. Um, it can be a pain to get out of here. I was expecting you to go. You've got cars that swing right round. You can't see, but they swing right round. They look like they're going off, but actually they're coming round. We can get, we can get going, we can get going. But yeah, no lorries go down there left. It even says there's a dead end. There's, there's yeah, don't go down there. <laughs> if anyone watching this tries a lorry, do not go down there. Okay, we're gonna take a left at this uh, roundabout up here. 
And then after we take this left, um, we go to the next roundabout and turn left again, and Travis Perkins will be on the left. I once got my tyres replaced by Formula One auto centres just up here, and they scratched all of my alloys, was not happy, on my tie part. Uh, the, the tie part at the time was like practically brand new to me, there was not a single mark on any alloy, and they damaged, I think it was three out of four of them they damaged. I wasn't happy. And now they're all ruined. I need to <laughs> they all need a refurbishment because they, they just get damaged so easy. Slightest mark. Oop. Uh. Yeah, Formula One Auto Centre's just in there. See who's having a good look. Okay. Oh. Go left at this roundabout here. I expect we'll be coming to Wix's to get a lot of stuff for when we move. Clear on the right. Thank you, mate. Excellent, right. Now, where are we going to park? Because there's not an awful lot of room. This isn't the sort of industrial state that you can hope to just park up for the night on hazards on Travis Perkins is just here on the left yeah we should be able to st we can stop outside Travis Perkins not a problem dash in go speak to someone they got one of their own trucks in there at the moment but they might they might get me in no HDVs report to member of staff yeah that's as I thought right I've got to go report to someone I will be right back ignition off in the neutral. Lovely. See you in a bit. Right, two more left to come off. Just ask for a brush so we can sweep up on the bed. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's got all this stuff on it. All needs to be swept up so it doesn't go on the public roads. So I think you just want to go get me a brush now. Literally, as soon as I asked, it was, do you have a hard hat? I said, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> You can just put it here for me. Thank you very much. I'll wait for him to take them two off and then I'll jump up because I know I know Travis Perkins can be quite strict. I mean, long time viewers will know that I've definitely been banned from Travis Perkins in the past. <laughs> right, that's the bed swept. I'm putting the truck now and get going. Okay. Engine on. So uh we have to go to Tetbury now and get loaded. Uh, but time is getting on, man. We're not going to be at Tetbury until like 20 to 1. That's if the sat nav's got the right route. I don't think it does. Yeah, I don't think the sat nav has the right route. It takes me down country lanes that we are not allowed to go down. So it might actually be longer. It might be more like quarter to one. I can't see it's getting out within 45 minutes. So that's like half past one. And then it's a good three hour drive to the delivery point, I think. So that puts it like half past four. So I'm just concentrating on getting out. Cheers, mate. Right, buddy. <coughs> so um, what I'm trying to say is, I don't think I'm going to put my delivery point before four o'clock. I think it's going to be after four o'clock. Um, that lorry just had to slam on as well. Should maybe be better prepared for cars to stop. Got to be careful of... Uh, there's because it's a pedestrian path. Um, so I'm trying to concentrate on getting out. <laughs> Should be able to go now. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so half past four, I reckon it'd be the ETA to the first drop. Might be before. Could even be after, including traffic. Um, so I was like, I sent my message to my boss, I was like, so do you want me to head down in the morning? 
Edwards, and Edwards go home tonight, or do you want me to head there today? And he said, probably get it off today. Personally, I can't see it happening, but I'll head there anyway. Um, well, I said, I'll see what time I leave Tetbury, is what I said. And then it's up to him. If you, want, if you want to speed to carry on, I'll, I'll carry on. I ain't got a problem with carrying on. It's uh, just setting expectations, isn't it? Like, he's like, you can get off today. And I'm, I'm in the field and I'm already suggesting I don't think it will be. And I don't want to blow me in trumpet or anything, but I'm normally pretty correct. <laughs> but we'll see. It might come off, in other words, if it does come off, I'll eat my words. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll be like, yeah, he was right. <laughs> but I personally, I can't see it coming off. Not today, anyway, it'll be in the morning. I uh, can't remember where it was now. Not indicating, I don't know if you're going left or right. It was somewhere near Dartford, around the M25 area, and then uh, it was, the second delivery was Canvey Island, so I definitely wouldn't get the Canvey Island off, but I think he was hoping for me to get at least one of them off. So we will give it a go. Oh, now you're indicating. That was a car that wouldn't indicate in before, now he is. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna crack on to Tetbury. Let's go get loaded, I'll see you when we get there. Okay. We are being loaded. We're currently on top of the trailer. It's going to be pallets, bolt bags, pallets. Uh, bolt bags are going to be in the middle. I think we've got six pallets. I can't remember. Six pallets to go on first, give or take. Then it'll be 17 bolt bags. And then on the end, I think it's uh, five pallets on the end. So that's what we're going to do. So we're on top of the trailer now, ready to put the, uh, the net on the bags. Then we'll jump down and we'll strap up. However, you, are not going to see that <laughs> um, because that's going to be the end of this video there is going to be another video coming out uh, which will be this load uh, and doing my work tomorrow so I want to make sure I've got enough content for the next video so this is going to be the end of today's video hopefully you've enjoyed it I do appreciate you watching uh, it's been been relatively eventful but nothing special <laughs> obviously we started the day in Thames Mead got that tipped off uh, on the side of the road, tip one side, go over to the other side, then we went over to HH, got loaded, and we delivered successfully in Tamworth Perkins without getting banned, so that's a win. <laughs> uh, and, and now here we are in Tetbury, um, getting loaded for the next video. So, once again, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.